Good morning, YouTube and YouTube only. It is Friday morning, and we are here playing Mini Metro. So, of course, this is the YouTube exclusive episode of Good Morning Mini Metro. Let's dive into today's daily challenge. First of all, we're going to Melbourne on normal. All right. Let's hit this Spotify button right here. Bring that up. We'll start out by drawing a nice little loop. Yes, game, I know how to play. I was just stalling. We st start out by drawing a nice little loop here. Get that going. I hope everybody's doing well on this Friday. I am very excited for today. Today is the day I am getting my very first COVID-19 vaccination shot. Getting the Pfizer injections. You know, I, 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 I weighed the pros and cons and I said, you know, it sounds like the Pfizer is the one for me. No, no. I, uh, I signed up on the website and they said, hey, we have an appointment at this time. You're getting the Pfizer. And I said, cool, I have an appointment. So, Pfizer for me, hooray. Let's put another tram here. Matter of fact, I think we will expand our tan line. Let's see, we have a tram and I'll take another line here. Just go like that with the green line. Melbourne is a pretty it's, it's kind of a middle of the road map for me. I don't hate it the way I dis the way I strongly dislike say Cairo or Hong Kong. but it's you know it's not one of my favorites. It is a map. It is here. You know the gimmick with with Melbourne as folks who have played the game regularly know is the trams all move very slowly compared to your typical locomotives. You know, the trade-off with them is they move at a predictable rate. So, you like, you know how they're going to go. They're, they don't have to accelerate or anything. They just kind of go. So, that's nice. All right. Got another square down there. That's uh, a bit awkward. I guess we'll put that on the green line for now. Take a tram. I'll take two more bridges just to make sure I'm good on bridges. With only four more lines available to me, I don't think, you know, f having four spare bridges might even be a bit overkill. But, you know, we'll most likely have a line that goes down here, a line or two that go over here. I could see a third line over here. Uh, you know what? Let's bring that back and hmm. Yeah, I suppose we'll do that now. Kind of want to hop this off, but there's no great way to do it other than just doing what I did. And does this count as crossing? Is the orange line going to be mad about that? No, it's not. Okay. So we got that. And then we can send a purple line down here. That ought to be fine as well. And we'll toss... Oh, we've got another tram. And I will take a carriage over two bridges. I think we're good on bridges, as I was just saying. Alright, circle over there. Let's give this to the green line, I suppose. I'm very much looking forward to... I'm also going to put a carriage on the screen line. Very much looking forward to the day when a triangle spawns down here and we can chop this green line in half. Of course, we're going to have to take another line for that, but, you know, we'll get there. I suppose I could also just deal with the reality of using a bridge on my orange loop and hook this circle into the orange line, but uh, I don't think I'm there yet. 
We've got enough circles on the orange one. No need to add some more. Want to thank everybody who came out last night for the six month of Philly anniversary celebration. We played Valkyria Chronicles here on the channel, had some fun, made some progress, got our butts kicked by Maximilian and his giant tank a few times. I'll take another line here, that'll be a nice light blue line. Fanta TV gave out six tier one subs putting us over the sub goal, which means two things. First of all, we unlock a new emote slot. And secondly, that means we're going to have ourselves a subathon. That'll be sometime soon, possibly as soon as next weekend. We'll do a, a stream guaranteed of at least six hours with additional time for... Uh, every follow and subscription. All right, let's see here. I think we're gonna take this off of the orange line and put that on. Yeah, let's do that. Put that on the green line. It means we can chop all of this nonsense off of the green line. You can go down there, you can go like that. And you just go over there. I'll put another tram on you. Uh, probably need to put another tram on the orange line as well, but let's see how it goes. I think we're going to... Yeah, we're going to do that, and you know what? Might be time to redraw this purple line. Have it go like so. And just borrow the triangle. Nope. Borrow the triangle right here. Okay, got another tram. Uh, we'll take a carriage. I'm gonna put that carriage on the blue line here. These two consecutive circles are going to be problematic. You know, the purple line can handle all of this just by sheer, you know, just basically by having trains there. Ooh, now that is a helpful triangle. I think we're gonna do that and that. Hmm. Maybe you want to do that? Will that make you happier? Yeah, there we go. So now these two lines will both come down here, hit the triangle, and then branch off. There you go, that makes sense. Okay. So, let's put this diamond up here. I've got a, another locomotive, we'll just, well, another tram. We'll drop on the orange line. Yeah, orange line only had two. That was a, a little, a little light. Take a tram here. Uh, I think I'm gonna take another line, and you know what? This might be a bad idea. I think I'm gonna go circle, star, triangle. Pull this off the green line. And uh, just take this off the orange line. Make the yellow line responsible for transporting those stars. Put the circle here on the orange line. This 
should be fine, I think. And the yellow line is never going to be terribly long. So having, having star drop points at either end is not going to be the end of the world for it. Uh, circle down here. We will make the responsibility of the green line. And honestly, I feel pretty good about the situation we've got here. You know, this, uh, this blue line will probably eventually become an issue. The green line is starting to look a little scruffy. But, uh, only a little. The orange line is in pretty good shape. Alright, we'll take a tram and another carriage. Uh, hmm. Let's put... Let's put the tram on... Actually, it seems the orange line is starting to get a little busy. Yeah, I think the orange line might be falling behind a bit. So, let's put a tram on one of... Let's put a carriage on one of the trams of the orange line. That should help. Uh, this circle here will give to the purple line. Now... A bunch of uniques are spawning here on the orange line, which is unfortunate. But, I think we're in decent enough shape to handle them. I do have a spare tram. Could put it... Probably either the orange or the green line. I want to put a carriage on the purple line at some point. I think we're going to have to have... Yeah, we're going to have to put this on the green line. And now this right here. Actually, that's a bit of an issue. Hmm... Well, we could, could transition custody of that to the green line. I don't love that plan, but I don't hate it either. Let's put another look, let's put another tram on the green line, see how that goes. Take a tram and a carriage. Circle over here pretty much has to be picked up by the purple line. Put a carriage right there. Uh, this station should be okay. Yeah, orange line with a tram coming through there. And a carriage is what I meant to say. Okay. Oh, that is an exceedingly friendly triangle. Let's have you terminate there, and I think we will also have, hmm, can you, no, you can't just hop right down there, what if, well, if you go up that way, you can do it, okay, I don't love that, but I think it'll be okay, and here, so the blue line will take care of that. And the purple line will benefit almost immediately from having uh, triangles at both ends of it. Kind of wish something would spawn over here so I could half justify putting it on the uh, putting it on the blue line and having the blue line terminate down here. But we'll see. I'm surprised at how well this. Uh, Central loop has worked out so far. We'll take a tram and a carriage. Uh, I think it's time for another carriage on the orange line. You go up there, get that. Uh, probably time for another tram on the purple line, actually. Okay. Okay. Uh, blue line, unfortunately, I have another circle for you. Five consecutive circles now at the end of the blue line. I'm sure that's fine. That's how the professionals do it, you know. 
those professional mini metro artists. Okay, orange line is starting to get a little clogged. That's okay. No, you're fine. Uh, hmm. How worried should I be? You've got a lot of stuff here. Why don't you just uh, pop through here? Because I feel like you're going to want to clean that up. There we go. That's a little bit better. And now you can just run right through here, if you would. I would appreciate that. Clear out that guy. Okay, now the orange line is starting to punish me for moving stuff around. We'll take a tram and a carriage. Could have really gone with a with an interchange at some point, but, you know, beggars, choosers, that sort of thing. Let's just put tram and carriage here on the orange line. Go with that. Triangle up there is not the worst thing in the world. And honestly, you know what? Let's just have the blue line terminate at that triangle. Because I'm really desperate to get another triangle on the blue line. I think that's going to be helpful. Oh, good lord. Look at this, uh... Look at this, uh, this circle station right here all of a sudden. Why don't you come through and try to clear that out? A full tram can't clear that out, I bet. Yeah, no. Oh, it just barely did. Alright, alright. Uh, you go up there, and we'll put that circle on the yellow line. Uh, along with a plus? Do I want to put the plus sign on the yellow line as well? That seems like it's asking for trouble. Let's not. Okay, uh, you're gonna go up there and drop a whole bunch of stuff. Everything is suddenly on fire. Okay, uh, you need to come through here. That'll be a thing that happens. Um, oh boy, I think this might be the end. Why don't you come back here, I guess? And uh, you're going to have to drop all of your footballs and come over here. Nope, didn't get it. Okay. 2,035 passengers over 73 days. That's not a bad score, I feel like. Pretty solid. Let's see how we did. Top 20%, which is good. Five below Parlor Ghost, which is uh, frustrating. So, you know, take the good with the bad. The good is a top 20% score. The bad is our good friend Parlor Ghost just barely beat us. So over on Twitch, I was giving Parlor Ghost some guff accidentally, not intentionally. But uh, just showing off how we did in the overall rankings on the week. But uh, we did top parlor. We did top ghosty every single one of these days over on Twitch, but here on YouTube, couldn't quite do it. And you know what? I'm not gonna say a damn thing to her. So ghosty, the only way you know you beat me is if you check the scores or if you watch the video. Let's do another map. We'll do one more map here call it a day and let's just keep it simple let's go to london first map of the game first mode of the game london on normal for our for the uh last map of the game what am i trying to say yeah for the last map of the first day of good morning mini metro youtube exclusive you know i really do hope that uh, folks here on YouTube enjoy Good Mini Good Morning Mini Metro. Stick around for future episodes. 
Uh, let's do this, I guess? Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you stick around for future episodes. I am very much not opposed to the idea of this whole thing taking off. But, you know, even if it doesn't, it is a, it is a fun little hobby. And I greatly enjoy the community that has formed over on Twitch and that hopefully will form here on YouTube around uh, myself and my streams. I really do appreciate that. All right. Enough self-aggrandizing. Let's figure out how we're going to handle this BS. Uh, I think this BS is going to be handled by... Uh, can you come up here? Can you round there? Okay, you could round there, but this triangle is still a jerk. So you know what? Uh, that's going to be red line. And that. And then we'll do this. Okay. And go. Take another locomotive, of course, and the line. I think we're in pretty good shape. Although, you know, three consecutive circles at the end of the red line. Uh, make it four consecutive circles at the end of the red line. Just until we get a triangle to spawn. Hopefully, like, right here. I'll take a triangle right here, please. Well, that is a triangle. It's not where I wanted it, but, you know, beggars, choosers, that sort of thing. Okay, let's have you go over there. You know what? I've got enough tunnels. Let's have the yellow line pick that up. And I believe we will draw ourselves a nice blue friend. And our nice blue friend will pick up that triangle up in the north. And then the red line will come over here, save a tunnel. Why don't we put this on the blue line? Because the red line's already pretty long. Triangle down there will add to the uh, yellow line. Okay. another circle over here can I make that part of the blue line sure locomotive I've got two tunnels I think we're okay I'll take a carriage and I think we'll put that uh, got another locomotive let's put it on the dark blue line dark blue line is very long here Another square there. Does it make any sense to... I don't think I want to restructure everything to make that the central square. I think this is perfectly fine. For the moment. Okay. Circle down here. We're going to put on the dark blue line for now. But uh, next week when we get a locomotive, we're going to chop that off and make it part of the light blue line along with this plus sign. I'm not even going to put anything. I guess I might as well run you up here for now. Just for like one in-game day. Okay, yellow line is doing well. Yellow line... Or red line is handling itself. We'll take a locomotive and an interchange. I will retract the dark blue line. Draw a light blue line to do the exact same thing. Dark blue line terminates at that triangle. Commit to our central square. Um. Hmm. Commit to this as our central square. Or commit to this as our central square. You know what? I think it does make a little bit of sense to pull. Yeah, we can run. You'll still run through there, but you. 
Yeah. This feels just a little bit better. Okay. That's our central square. Now watch as a square spawns like right here. Right here, right now. Okay, so. I'm gonna put a carriage on the light blue line right now. You know, it's got two uniques on it. So they're gonna start piling up at the interchange. We'll wanna clear that out as efficiently as we can. That circle up there, you know, this this whole line structure here could really use a, a rethinking. Uh, let's do it on Sunday, see if we get another line or something. Yeah, we're just going to wait out. There it goes. Locomotive and a line and pause. Okay. Hmm. All right, I think... What I want to do, I think I want to just blow up everything and look at it with a fresh set of eyes. So let's do that. We'll blow everything up. Look at it fresh. Okay. So the obvious thing to do is to, well, I kind of liked having the, I want to keep the lines in the same general place. So let's go south with a yellow line start here come along here so you don't terminate with two consecutive of the same thing what's the next color the next color is red okay so the red line was going easty uh let's see how i feel about doing this and then there's the dark blue line which was also going easty now if you pick this up you do have that and I could pull this, pop a tunnel, and have you terminate there. And then there's the light blue line, which can come along here, do that. And that just leaves these two stations here unattended. And we can make those part of... Actually, I do have a green line I haven't drawn. Uh, we can do... This plus sign circle come down terminate at that triangle. I actually don't hate that. Okay. So let's see how that goes. Uh, I think immediately my carriage is going to go here on the blue line because it's got these three consecutive circles to deal with. And almost immediately I can't do the thing I was doing. Okay, uh, that square over there kind of necessitates picking up from here. And we'll have you do that. Okay. All right, so the green line is a little long and windy, but I think it's going to work out okay. Triangle down there foils my best plans for the yellow line, but, you know, we'll deal with it. I do like the fact that I have a spare locomotive here. Ooh, uh, there are no circles on the blue line now. You know what? Let's fix that. Thusly. No circles on the light blue line is what I meant. Uh, you know what? I don't like that fix for that. I would rather fix it this way. Have you come up here. Uh, and we'll just unhook you from that circle. Have you pick up that one instead. Okay. Let's see. Uh, yeah, yellow line could use another locomotive. And it's Sunday, so we're just about to get another one. We'll take a locomotive and another interchange. Just to keep in my back pocket. I've heard worse ideas. We'll take that. Put that circle at the end of the red line. Should be okay. Okay. Uh, circle up here. Making it... Starting to make it difficult to keep 
this circle on the red line. Let's put it on the green line instead. Circle down there is making me wish I had another line. Can I... If I come up here... Can you hook it? No, you can't hook into there nicely at all, can you? Well, what if... Send you out here and redraw the yellow line such that it goes triangle, triangle, circle, triangle, triangle, circle. Like that. Oh, and that'll mean this circle goes unattended until... Oh, you can't do that. Uh, that might mean that circle goes unattended, which would mean that the plan does not work. Shoot. Uh, light blue line? Don't necessarily know how I feel about all that, but we'll see. Still have a spare tunnel. Like, I think the ultimate answer is I need to chop some of this off the blue line and the red line and create a third easterly line. But I'm not in a position to do that right this very moment. Okay, triangle down there is going to be helpful, I think. We'll put that on the light blue line for now. We'll take a locomotive and a carriage. Okay. I only have the one locomotive on the light blue line, so let's put another one there. Uh, let's put a carriage on the red line on account of these three. Okay. Well, fuck. I guess we'll just redraw the yellow line again. Uh, you know what? Why don't we just draw the yellow line such that it goes, like, it uses the square as a midpoint and is functionally two lines. There. Like, that uses an extra tunnel, but it also feels just like a smarter deployment of resources. And in time, when I get more, when I get another line, it will be very easy to say, let's just chop all of this off of the yellow line. Okay, that circle up there is a pain in the ass. Because the green line really, well, actually, we can bring the green line up here. And, no, it's still a pain in the ass, actually. Um... If we do that, we can put that on the red line, round to the corner that way. Have you come down this way. Still get a triangle on you. Okay, go. Uh, this will come over here. All right. So what's piling up? Uh, this is a bit of a cluster. Yeah, looks like stars are piling up a bit there. Plus signs and pie pieces are piling up here. Those are both the responsibility of the green line. Diamond down here is fun. I'm kind of out of tunnels for that. Uh, locomotive and a line. Yeah. Let's take the locomotive and the line. I think we're going to pull all of this back... I'm going to want to draw another line for it. Okay. Let's do that. And you, my pink line, can go circle, circle, circle. Well, that's an issue. Then pop back over here, triangle, triangle blue line, in the meantime, uh, having lost a few circles, can pick up this diamond. And I will probably want to put my, my other locomotive on the pink line, because, you know, circle, 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 and all that. All right. Go. So 
So now the yellow line is significantly shorter triangle. Here at the start of the green line is an amazing help. That is the most, that's one of the more helpful triangles that I've ever seen. So I will take that every damn day of the effing week. Uh, let's pull... Yeah, let's put this square just on the green line, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Uh, circle there pretty much needs to be responsibility of the dark blue line, given the way everything is laid out. Another square at the butt end of the green line. That's fine, I guess. Not the end of the world. Dark blue line really needs another locomotive on it. Uh, another triangle down here. We'll just give to the pink line. Okay, pink line's doing all right. Yeah, dark blue would desperately need some help. Uh, can I take the last line? I don't feel comfortable taking the last line here. Actually, I think I'm gonna put a carriage. Uh, I'm gonna put a locomotive on the dark blue line. Save the carriage for something that needs it. I don't know what. Uh, probably the green line, actually. Yeah, let's put the carriage on this green locomotive because it'll come back here, and by that time, we'll really need to clear out these plus signs. A fourth triangle. You know what? Let's just make the blue line exceedingly long to pick up that triangle because that will at least let this line, yeah, pick up those triangles, do something. There we go. So yeah, now the dark blue line is much longer, but it is in a better position overall, I think. Okay, plus signs and pie pieces are piling up at the central square, which basically tells me the green line is not doing its job. Uh, circle up here should really be the responsibility of the green line. I mean, you think about lines that could get chopped in half. The green line is high on the list. Circle over there. Yeah, I think if I, if we do that, that will help out a lot, actually. All right, so locomotive, I don't have the option this week. Okay. We'll take a carriage. Uh, do I want to put... What do I want to do? I think... Uh, I want to send you all the way up here because you're making me nervous. Let's put the locomotive on the red line. Yeah, let's put the locomotive on the red line. Red line could use a little bit of help. And the carriage will probably wind up tossing on the green line. But we'll see about that. Might wind up putting it here on the blue line as well. That's another possibility. Actually, yeah, that's a good choice. Let's do that. Because this station is going to need help soon. That circle, I don't really know how to help out right now. Uh, are you going to get there? Yeah, why don't you come here? And yeah, you're gonna get there, no problem. Uh, you need to come through here. That shouldn't be an issue, right? Oh, I cut that entirely too close. Entirely too close did I cut that, but we made it. All right, so you go up there, do that, that'll be fine. Uh, this circle up here, for now I'm gonna put on the red line. I should not have let that get that close. With an interchange in my pocket, no, that was a bad choice. That was a big gamble that I took for no good reason. All right, this circle needs to be cleared out of all of its uniques and such. Hmm. 
that circle down here, like all of this is almost begging for an extension of the pink line. You know, turn the pink line around, have it pick up all of this. You know what? I don't hate that idea. Actually, I kind of do, but we're going to do it. You're going to get all of this. Sorry about that, pink line. Uh, I'll give you a carriage, like right here. Here, take a carriage. That'll make it even, right? All right, locomotive and a carriage. Uh, the central square is absolutely overloaded with plus signs and pie pieces. So we need to put a locomotive and I think a carriage on the green line and just keep everybody else afloat. All right, red and blue lines can come back over here. Um... God, there's just nothing I can do to keep that central square going, is there? Uh, maybe you'll come through here, clear that out just for a sec, just for a second. Wow. Uh, here, clear it out again. Uh, let's take this off of the red line so that we can give this to the red line. We'll put this on the blue line. Okay, uh, oof. like I keep looking at this, I had a locomotive going right in there, game. All right, fine, 2,073 passengers, I don't think that's my best on London. Nah, just a bit shy of the top, oh well. So, we did all right on the daily challenge, we played London, we did all right there, I think that's going to do it for us here today on Good Morning Mini Metro. I will be back Monday morning, 7 o'clock Eastern on Twitch and 9 o'clock Eastern right here on YouTube. Until then, I hope everybody has a wonderful day and I will see you on Monday. Goodbye.